Welcome to the stunning Brecon Beacons National Park. It's one of Britain's... We interrupt this programme to bring you some breaking news. Reports are coming in that nearly three million people die each year from a little-known disease called COPD. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is the fifth highest cause of death in the world. Over three million people suffer from the disease in the UK, two million of whom are unaware they have it. It kills 32,000 people every year in the UK. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is the name given to a group of medical conditions, namely bronchitis, emphysema and chronic asthma. It's when airflow into the lungs is obstructed. Smoking is to blame for COPD in the majority of cases. Smoke from cigarettes causes inflammation in the lungs and destroys the elasticity that allows the lungs to expand and contract as we breathe. Patients usually show symptoms from the age of 50, yet by then, nearly half their lung capacity has been lost. However, with early screening and diagnosis, COPD can be prevented or slowed down so that it's no longer a hopeless condition. And with assistance being given in the home through a new self-help DVD, patients now have the chance to actively fight the disease and to live as normal a life as possible. Derek Edwards lives alone and gets tired very quickly. Any physical activity can leave him breathless, like walking through to the kitchen to make a cup of tea. Climbing the stairs can be exhausting. Symptoms of COPD include lack of concentration, forgetfulness, coughing and wheezing, and difficulty in inhaling. To avoid tight-chestedness, COPD sufferers sometimes avoid physical exercise, which then leads to a loss of confidence. However, Mr Edwards' quality of life is expected to improve now that he has the self-help DVD. It shows him how he can have a more comfortable lifestyle and it reminds him of the basic questions he would normally have to ask his doctor. The DVD illustrates what happens to your lungs when airflow is restricted and how it affects your body. And down-to-earth advice like not smoking, not using sprays that can literally take your breath away, not wearing tight clothes and wearing slip-ons rather than lace-ups. In 2003, COPD medical admissions in the UK were estimated to cost the NHS £1,062 million per year. By its very nature, the self-help DVD can give advice and answers repeatedly 24 hours a day, whenever the COPD sufferer wants to see it and hear it. It'll help to reassure them of what they should and shouldn't do, and it will also help reduce the regularity of their visits to doctors and hospitals. And if family members help their ageing relatives or watch the DVD with them, they too will become more aware of the disease and the benefits for early screening. Well, I think that a self-help DVD can essentially reinforce the advice that's given to the patients by their GP. Um, it allows them to have access to it really at any time that they need. It can help to reassure them and it can hopefully make a positive impact on their life. In some cases, it may actually reduce their need to consult with their GP as well. In its own way, the self-help DVD will make a considerable impact on people's lives and a noticeable contribution to the financial well-being of the NHS. For your free self-help guide to COPD, visit www.copdselfhelp.co.uk or contact your local health authority. And now back to the scheduled programme.